Is 2024 going to be the year of the housing recession? That's the question that's been echoing in the minds of many, from Wall Street to Main Street. The housing market has been the subject of much speculation and uncertainty, as we find ourselves on the brink of a new year, teetering on the edge of the unknown. The current state of the housing market is, in a word, volatile. Prices are soaring, inventory is dwindling, and buyers are scrambling to get in on what seems to be an ever-increasing market. Yet amid the frenzy, there are whispers of a potential downturn. Some experts are pointing to a series of factors that could indicate the onset of a housing recession in 2024. But what does a housing recession really mean? In essence, a housing recession is a period of decline in the housing market, characterized by falling home prices and decreased housing activity. It's a time when the balance shifts from a seller's market to a buyer's market, and the power dynamics of the housing industry undergo a significant transformation. Now, you might be wondering why this is important to homeowners. Well, understanding the signs of a housing recession is crucial for homeowners because it can affect their property value, their mortgage, and their financial future. If a homeowner is aware of the potential for a recession, they can take steps to protect their investment and potentially minimize their losses. Predicting economic trends is no easy task, and the housing market is no exception. There's a lot of uncertainty, and the potential for a recession in 2024 is just that, potential. It's not a guarantee, but rather a possibility based on current market trends and economic indicators. As we step into 2024, the question on every homeowner's mind is, will this be the year of the housing recession? While we can't predict the future with absolute certainty, we can arm ourselves with knowledge and understanding. The more we know about the signs of a housing recession, the better prepared we can be for whatever the future holds. Identifying a housing recession is not as straightforward as it may seem. It's like trying to read tea leaves at the bottom of a cup, but in the world of economics, we have certain indicators that can give us a sense of what's brewing. Firstly, let's consider a significant increase in unsold homes. Think of the housing market as a giant seesaw. On one side, we have the supply of homes available for sale. On the other, the demand from buyers. In a healthy market, these two forces are in balance. But when the number of unsold homes begins to rise, it's often because demand is falling. This could be due to a variety of factors such as rising interest rates or economic uncertainty making buyers more cautious. Next, let's talk about housing prices. In a booming market, prices are on the up and up, but when a recession looms, this trend often reverses. A decrease in housing prices can be a clear sign that the market is cooling down. It's as if the real estate party has reached the wee hours of the morning and the music is starting to slow. Finally, we have to consider new home construction. You see, the housing market doesn't just revolve around existing homes. New home construction is a vital part of the equation. It's a bit like a canary in a coal mine. When builders start to pull back on new projects, it can be a sign that they're expecting demand to drop. To sum up these three indicators, a rise in unsold homes, a decrease in housing prices, and a drop in new home construction are like the three musketeers of a housing recession. They ride together, and when they do, it's time to pay attention. But remember, these are just indicators, not certainties. They are pieces of a puzzle that, when put together, can give us a picture of the market's health. These signs can provide valuable insight into whether 2024 will be the year of the housing recession. Mortgage rates play a crucial role in the housing market. A simple statement, yet one that carries significant weight, especially when contemplating the potential for a housing recession. Why, you may ask? You see, mortgage rates are a bit like the temperature gauge on an engine. When they rise, it's a clear indication that the engine of the housing market could be overheating. And when that happens, demand for homes often cools off. Now let's break it down a bit further. A mortgage rate essentially is the cost you pay to borrow money to buy a home. When these rates are low, it becomes more affordable for people to take out loans and buy properties. This drives up demand and in turn it raises house prices. But what happens when mortgage rates increase? Well, the cost of borrowing rises 
This means potential homeowners might think twice before taking out a loan. After all, higher monthly payments constrain budgets and make home ownership less appealing. So the demand for homes can decrease, which can put downward pressure on house prices. This is where the housing market can enter a period of stagnation or even recession. This is not to say that higher mortgage rates are the sole cause of a housing recession. There are several factors at play here, including economic conditions, employment rates and consumer confidence, among others. However, the impact of mortgage rates is undeniable and is a key factor that economists and analysts closely watch. So, as we look ahead to 2024, the trajectory of mortgage rates could be a key indicator of what's to come. If rates begin to climb significantly, we could see a slowdown in the housing market. But remember, this is just one piece of the puzzle. In the end, it's about understanding the various dynamics at play in the housing market and being prepared for any changes that may come. The trajectory of mortgage rates in 2024 could be a telling sign of a possible housing recession. So keep an eye on those rates because they could very well be a window into the future of the housing market. As a homeowner, what should you do if a housing recession is on the horizon? The looming possibility of a housing recession can be daunting, but don't fret, there are steps you can take to soften the potential blow. Let's dive in. Firstly, consider refinancing your mortgage. In the face of a recession, interest rates often drop as the government tries to stimulate the economy. This could be a golden opportunity to lower your monthly payments or even pay off your mortgage sooner. It's essential to weigh the costs of refinancing against the potential savings. Every homeowner's situation is unique, so it's a good idea to consult with a financial advisor or a mortgage professional. Secondly, it might be wise to hold off on selling your home. During a recession, home values can decrease and the market can become saturated with properties. If you don't need to sell, it may be best to wait it out. This allows your property value to potentially bounce back when the market recovers. However, if you're in a position where you must sell, ensure your home stands out in the crowd. This brings us to our third point, investing in home improvements. This doesn't necessarily mean a full-blown renovation. Simple enhancements like a fresh coat of paint, modern light fixtures or a well-maintained garden can significantly increase your home's appeal. Remember, it's all about making your property more attractive to potential buyers. Lastly, keep an eye on the market. Stay informed about the economic indicators we've discussed earlier. This way, you'll be able to make informed decisions based on the current trends and forecasts. These are challenging times and it's natural to feel a bit overwhelmed. But remember, recessions are a part of the economic cycle. They come and go. Your home is not just a financial investment, but also a place of comfort and security. By taking these steps, homeowners can prepare themselves for the possibility of a housing recession in 2024. So, will 2024 be the year of the housing recession? A question that's been on the minds of many, and we've delved deep into the possibilities today. Let's recap the key points. We've explored the indicators that signal a housing recession. These indicators include a drastic increase in housing inventory, a slowdown in the pace of home sales and home price growth, and increased foreclosure rates. These signs don't necessarily mean a housing recession is imminent, but they're certainly red flags that homeowners and potential buyers should watch out for. We've also discussed the impact of mortgage rates. Higher mortgage rates can make homes less affordable, which can slow down the housing market. On the other hand, lower rates can stimulate the market by making homes more affordable. It's important to keep an eye on these rates and understand how they can affect the housing market as a whole. Then, we dived into what homeowners should do in the face of a potential housing recession. Preparation is key. Homeowners should ensure they're financially stable, keeping their credit scores high and debts low. It's also crucial to have a solid understanding of the local housing market. This way, homeowners can make informed decisions about whether to sell, buy or hold on to their properties. But the most important thing to remember is this. While the signs are there, it's impossible to say for certain whether a housing recession will occur in 2024. Predicting the housing market is not an exact science. 
It's influenced by a myriad of factors, many of which are unpredictable. While no one can predict with certainty, understanding the signs and knowing how to respond can help homeowners navigate the uncertain waters of a potential housing recession. Remember, knowledge is power, and being well-informed is your best defense against any potential economic downturns.